White House and the nation's most prominent charities are embroiled in a tense behind-the-scenes debate over President Obama's push to scale back the nearly 100-year-old tax deduction on donations that the charities say is crucial for their financial health. Global marketing strategist Ari Mann, are you there? Yes, I am. Thanks for having me on today. Morning, Ari from Miami. Good to have you on. All right, so what do you think? Will this hurt charitable donations? If it's not deductible? Absolutely. I mean, we know that uh, people give out of goodness of their heart, and of course they, they do, but a tax deduction makes our heart larger and our goodness even better. And really it's absurd to think that the, the charitable deduction is now playing an important role uh, in the debate over the nation's fiscal cliff. Um, and we're already seeing the effect of this. People who are making donations to charities are already beginning to hold back because they're worried about the implications of this sort of policy being passed. Harry, what does the White House want here? Uh, you know, the White House wants to essentially reduce or cap the amount of tax deduction that you can take for charities. So to give you an example, um, you know, from a financial standpoint, the tax code allows people who itemize deductions to deduct uh, their charitable contributions at the maximum rate. So for example, if someone is in the highest tax bracket at 35%, uh, if they give $100 to charity, they save 30 $35 in taxes. And if the deduction is capped at 28%, the donor is only going to save $28. So the difference there is $7. $7 out of 35 is very significant. So we're talking about charities possibly missing out on 20% of the funds that they raise. You know, that's a direct financial impact. And there's no other way to look at it. And what the government is looking for, what Obama is proposing, is a policy to cap these deductions which it essentially would raise about $500 billion in new federal tax revenue over 10 years. Uh, that's a huge amount of money that is going to be taken out of the coffers of charities. And, um, you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's unbelievable that you have a president even proposing this. Uh, so essentially you're talking about $50 billion a year, and this is off of a $1.4 trillion per year deficit. This is $50 billion, but we don't know what effect it will have on the church, on the Boys and Girls Club, on developmental services. We don't have any idea. Has there been a study or we've just never done anything like this? Actually, there was a recent study just published by Bank of America that showed that 60% of their wealthy households responded that they would somewhat or dramatically decrease their charitable contributions if this sort of policy went into effect. That's 67% of wealthy households already saying that. Um, you know, and, and affluent Americans are already making early decisions about you know, where they're going to make their uh, tax um, donations now. And you can see, you can see this with uh, what's going on with Hurricane Sandy Relief. Um, Hurricane Sandy Relief donations are way behind donations for other major disasters like the Haiti earthquake, like the tsunami in the South Pacific, like Hurricane Katrina. And that's because, for a big part of it, is people are worried about um, this policy being passed and, um, and, and what the implications are in the future. Because remember, most donations that people make, even if they agree to make a donation today, it's usually over a period of time. People will say, oh, I'm going to make a $10,000 donation, but then it's only $1,000 a month for the next 10 months. So it's not that they, they may be worried that the policy could be retroactive. You know, donors may be worried about that, or they just may be worried about what the future holds if this sort of policy is passed. And... Um, I thought the Democrats protected the poor. I don't get it. You know, that's what I. You know, that's what they always uh, portray themselves as standing for. Um, and in this scenario, they're portraying this policy as closing a loophole on the on the ultra wealthy. But while in fact the unintended consequences here are really hurting the poor. You should double the deduction to encourage giving. Well, I mean, you should do something to encourage it, not discourage it. Doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, the only way to look at it and say, hey, maybe this makes sense is. The government is, is trying to assert more control over our lives, and that's really a shame. They, you know, they already control health care. They you know, control the mortgage industry. They control the currency. They want to control more of our lives, and if they can reduce the roles of charities in society and, and, and substitute government, they have more control over us. Wait, wait, wait. Government's going to... Start feeding soup to the homeless? Is that what they're going to do? <laughs> well, yeah. That's I it. mean, listen, listen. we depend on the donation. Ask any charitable organization how doggone hard it is right now to get a dime. It's tough. It Not is. only the economy, but just now, I, I just don't understand the direction you're in the path. You're going to, you know, close those loopholes with evil people that can actually get money. Well, you want them to get money. 
You don't want to discourage their giving. Well, they should give it anyway. Well, they might, but this you should encourage something like that. What are the prospects this actually happens? Um, it, you know, right now it looks likely, and you know the reason why I say it looks likely is you have these charities spending tens of millions of dollars attempting to stop it, um, and you know these charities are spending their own money thinking it's a good investment because at stake here are billions of dollars in charity donations, billions of dollars that these charities could lose, and you know at this point I, I haven't seen the White House backing off on it. They're pushing very hard to make a change in the uh, charitable tax donation uh, cap. And um, yeah, I, I, I think there's a good chance it'll be part of the deal, unfortunately. Oh, unbelievable. I didn't think they'd do it. I thought they'd talk about it, Harry, but I didn't think they'd do it. Well, it, you know, it's always the consumer. You know, you can do whatever you want with fees and taxes and every structure. It always comes down to the guy at the bottom. In this case, the guy with no shoes. Yep. It's, uh, it. uh, unbelievable. Harry, I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. From Miami, Global Marketing Strategy.